Honda, a friend of Gene Man's, receives a secretive package, parts of a gun. He assembles it, ready for whatever may come. Meanwhile, Bale plots revenge in an abandoned building. Jun Chiyo, one of the men, hesitates, leading to a heated argument. Tragically, Bale smothers Gene Man's mother in the hospital. News of the death reaches Gene Man at his sister-in-law's home. He suggests an autopsy, unaware of Song Jo's sinister visit. Song Jo erases himself from the security footage and orchestrates a rooftop massacre, eliminating Gene Man's relatives. A frantic call from Jun Chiyo warns Gene Man about Bale's plan. He rushes home to shield Jian, but Honda is ambushed and brutally attacked. Min Hai, witnessing the attack on security cameras, springs into action, saving herself with cunning and courage. Jean Man, caught in a hail of bullets from the treacherous Jun Chiyo, escapes with the help of a hidden gun and bulletproof shield. Meanwhile, Pazin finds Jean Man at his doorstep, wounded but resolute. Bale's rage knows no bounds. He brutally tortures one of his men while demanding to be the one to finish Jean Man. Jian escapes her pursuer and hides in the hospital morgue, while Jean Man eliminates the remaining threat and reunites with Jian. A tense encounter unfolds in the hospital hallway as Jean Man and Bale nearly cross paths. He escapes, finding refuge in Yong Han's home. Here, Jean Man reveals he chose not to retaliate against Yong Han's family, urging him to end the cycle of violence. Jean Man speaks to Pazin, seeking a long term plan for protection. They embark on a new venture building an underground mall beneath a field. Jean Man takes in Honda's brother, offering him a safe haven. Pazin approaches Min Hai, extending a helping hand. Despite his newfound peace, Jean Man is haunted by nightmares of Bale. As Jian sleeps soundly, he grapples with the weight of his past and the uncertainty of his future. Shopping my mandalo? Jungin man, Mitchell's second. 